Oh, oh shit. Oh, it didn't start. Oh, oh shit. Ridiculous. Maybe it did. Oh, yeah. I tried to be clever and it didn't work out. Ooh. But that's what happens when it's the fucking nothing shaker, sacred shaker, <laughs> nothing sacred, <laughs> nothing shaker, nothing shaker, nothing shaker nothing show. That's what happens when it's almost the end of the week edition. <laughs> you still kind of spread your, spread your cheeks, you know? Kind of spread your cheeks. You definitely are an age attrition. I am Cruise Control. <laughs> and I'm Maxwell Silverhammer. And this is the shit that fucking irks me for the 21st of July, 2006. Fuck, shit? nigga. Fuck, man. Oh, yeah. This, uh, this year's, god damn, dude. The month's almost over. The and I said shit that over. fucking irks me, too, man. See, I'm in a... Dude, this, I don't know if I like doing shows on Thursday nights. Yeah. Because okay, because while I am like like in a decent mood because hey the week's almost over and I'm like oh tomorrow's not gonna be a bad I'll, you know I'll get to the day I'll be looking forward to the act the weekend my brain is still not it's like it's like your brain is not free from the week so like oh. normally the Friday night editions you know the end of the week editions I'm like yeah I'm all sharp I'm up I'm like yeah hmm. you know while while tonight since it's not quite the end of the week I'm still in the in the hold of the week so it's like psychologically it's not I'm still like yeah it's it's almost the weekend but it's still like Thursday is one of my favorite nights of the week right. but not for right. intellectual st- <laughs> not for for like being the uh, the sharpest tool in the shed although well, we'll see what happens. I, I don't know man I think uh, for me all the time is you know whenever we do a show I no. feel pretty, oh know. oh every time you do the show you I go. feel pretty good every time I do it now show. there is one thing I have to do real quick and I'll be back in just a moment real quick all right man you do okay. that all right. and I'll I'll start Why don't talking you go? here. Go ahead. So man, you know, here's the thing, folks. Uh, just because we had an issue with something, uh, with an interview, we'll just say. And, uh, you know, th- this is sort of the double-edged sword of free speech radio. I mean, the whole idea to come on here is to say what's on your mind and to be 100% real and nobody's going to censor you and nobody's going to, you know, tell you not to say that or not to say this. But... Uh, you know, at the same time, we're not going to edit things that you say. You know what I'm saying? I mean, even if you don't like it, well, you kind of have to police yourself, man. I mean, it's kind of like, well, okay, yeah, you, you have, it's like Ice-T says, freedom of speech, just watch what you say. So if there's something you don't want out there, then you probably shouldn't say it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, just be a little more cognizant of that and, you know, don't worry about, you slipped and oh fuck! I, I said this, I said that, and a lot of times too, mm-hmm. you know, because I've, I've had you know what I've I've been doing radio and shit for what nine years now, and uh, you know in that nine years I've had three people, you know, on three separate occasions, you know, want want me to edit things out and cut this out and chop, you know, don't, I don't want to say that I shouldn't have said that. Well, then, dude. That's on you. And keep homie. it. Keep in mind, uh, we we do like enjoy what we're doing, but we are doing this on our free time as well. So we're not we're not like these contracted people that are. You need to edit this and add this fucking you know, thing to that. You know, it's not that it's, that it's something that we don't want to do. It, well, it is something we don't want to do because we want it to be a free flowing interview. We don't want it to be like, well, we had to cut that. Yeah. And, and we'll make you know we'll do certain things. I mean, if, if but we're not going to do the whole interview over. So if you have an issue with something that you're that said right then. Maybe we'll we'll go. All right, we'll start over from a certain part, depending on how the interviews are. But at, but even that, man, it's just it's just it's just an interview. It's 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 a free flowing conversation for freedom of speech. And if you're afraid of your what people are going to say about you, then just say, hey, I, I I slipped up and said something. So whatever, right. just just, just exactly. know that we're doing this in our free time for our fun and leisure too. And, and when it becomes unfun then there's no point in us doing it. And it's going to be unfun if people are going to be worried about what they're saying and expects us to change shit or, or, or cut shit out. Right. The whole idea is for it to be fun for the guest as well as the host. You know. Yeah, not only that, but it's also the idea of it's, it's it, you know, it's, it's a free-flowing, like I said, a free-flowing free conversation. Um, the whole idea of it is just to set your thoughts. And if you do say something, just own up and say, oh, well, I'm – you know, made some kind of comment, and but we're not going to edit well, it anymore. So. Remember, there was a time a couple months back, I think, that I said something during a show, mm-hmm. kind of caught you off guard. But you know, we didn't go, "Oh shit, we better edit that." We just let it go. Yeah, you let know it what go and deal. You know, and if and if it's really that bad, then we won't, you know, do the interview, and then you can deal with deal with it yourself, and and we'll get you the the, the interview yourself. You can have it. You can use it for whatever you want to. We don't really fucking care. 
Yep. Uh, we're yep. just doing it for because we enjoy that kind of stuff, and uh, some of the people that we that that listen to our our broadcasts. Mm, yes, our broad, our it's broadcast. Podcast. Podcast. Broadcast. There's no broads here, though. But anyways, people that listen, people that listen you know, to our that, shit. And that's the other you know, thing, though, man. It's like respect that. It, that we're just talking shit. That's all we're doing. I always, I always trip, though, man. It seems like some of the people that say the vilest shit in their music are the ones who always want the things edited. You know what I'm saying? It's like, well, didn't yeah. didn't you come on? Because it's free speech, right? You know, a free speech well, type thing. Funny, funny <laughs> enough, you mentioned it. I said the shit that irks me earlier. You know, I thought I heard That's you say something. That's what I said. About now, what are we going to do now? Are we going to? Because we there's been I think one time where we started over. That was because it was so botched so badly. But this time, it almost fits the purpose. It almost <laughs> it's like it's like it's hey, like divine it intervention. Us together, man. No, think about it, man. We're talking about editing stuff and making mistakes and saying things that make make you feel stupid. But we kind uh-huh. of I fucked up this goddamn intro completely. <laughs> well, I fucked, no, not you, only did I fuck it up by like, saying, but I, nothing, say nothing, shake, later, didn't you? nothing sacred. Uh, fucking <laughs> like starting the music late and going the music hasn't started yet because I felt like a doofus because it was quiet for like six seconds at the beginning, right. and then shit that fucking hurts me instead of nothing sacred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so guess what's happening? We're going to edit this out, we're going to take this out completely, and we're going to yeah. replace it with exactly the same thing as it was without it being edited. So this is actually us doing this a second time, exactly like we did it the first time. Just Man, even with the fuck-ups. Yeah, even with, that's an exact one point. We did it with the fuck-ups exactly like. We listened to it a couple times, memorized exactly how we did it. So it's, it's virtually, virtually indistinguishable from the first real cut we did of this. Because right. this is our like, fourth or fifth try. We just we just reenacted <laughs> our fuck fucking, ups. Yeah, keep reenacting our fuck ups. <laughs> anyway, um, oh shit, let me get this done too. Hold on. Oh, get her done. Uh, Actually, while we've you're got, we've that got done, there's another thing, dude. And yes. It kind of kind of made me think of religion, um, you know, because the the last situation we had. But um, somebody, dude. Okay, I, I commented on someone's post. Uh, they were talking about God, you know, and I do believe in a God. You know, I've had. Situations that that mm-hmm. have sort of proven to me that there is a, a higher power or whatever. So I commented on this guy's post, and somebody on my friends list who is, you know, an open atheist, just takes it upon themselves to go on my wall and write, "There is no God," and I'm like, "Why the fuck do you have to do that shit? You know, I'm not writing on your shit. You know, you need to accept God." You know what I mean? Because because people because they're just like any other religion now. Yes. It's just the same goddamn thing. It's it's just a religion of non-belief. But they these people believe that since they're rational and they don't believe in God, that they have the right to belittle push. people and push their shit on just like the people that believe that there that there is a God and you're gonna burn in hell. Do it's exactly the it's exactly the mental. It's why feminists call you a misogynist if you don't believe in feminism. It's the same yeah. thing as a sinner. It's why gay people call you a homophobe if you don't. Not all gay people, but gay rights. A lot of gay rights people will yeah, call you a homophobe. Ones, yeah, homo- a homophobe. If you don't believe in exactly what they believe in terms of you know, like loving and embracing and all that shit, whatever. If it's you don't just believe, funny, like, lockstep. Because their uh, their whole reason for probably becoming atheist or whatever it is, you know, is because they they were sick of the Christian dogma. Well, guess what? They got the same fucking dogma. You know of course it is. It's just a different. Co- but they believe it's just anything else. They believe now. I I'm a, a you know how I feel. I'm an agnostic atheist more myself. Right. But I I'm of the of the belief that it's a per, such a personal thing and it doesn't really matter. Right. That that you actually what you're doing when you try to tell people not to believe in God is don't be yourself. Don't be who you are because faith is a, is a is a is a part of a lot of people. I know people that believe in that kind of stuff because they just have an innate feeling that there's something more and sure. if you take that away from them then they aren't who you are and who, who they are and they aren't who you've liked and loved and gotten to know regardless just like with any beliefs if you took beliefs my beliefs away from me and you go you're gonna believe you're gonna believe exactly as i do then who am i i'm not an individual right. that makes them who they are like you like an example you're a perfect example people go, oh well you're goddamn christian you're a god fear you're like no i simply believe in some vague higher power I, you probably don't even think about it that much your religion quote unquote is completely individual towards you toward right. to you it's when people get together and agree upon what's right and then try to tell other people like atheists like christians like muslims like jews like any other religion that tries to tell you that you are righteous if you believe and not that's where the problem is. The organized belief structures. Yep. Yep. That's the problem. Exactly. That's the group think problem. It's with, and it's not just religion because it's all ideology. 
It's all belief in something or some kind of way of life that you should live by and everybody else should. Um, that's uh, that that's that's the problem. It's not right. it's not the belief. It's it's the organized belief. And well, that's it. I yeah. always say I, I you know I hate I hate religion, but I I like beliefs. You know what I'm saying? Yes, like that exactly. You like hate so. hate really because this it becomes a um a mob's a monster as um as. Uh, Benjamin Franklin once said, "See, I'm quoting fucking history now, motherfucker." Oh, there you go, man. Going way back on niggas. Yeah, going back on motherfuckers. So, what do you got? What do you got first, man? Because um, you know, I, I don't have a whole lot, but um, I know you said you had some stories. I also want to talk a little bit about uh, just, <laughs> just the dating sites. Yes, I, I and went on today just for the hell of it. Um, forget why. Oh, you know and what? I we got have an a fun email glun as well tonight. So just to point point that out. So stay tuned for that a little later on. We'll bust out the fun glun. Oh, we do have a fun glun. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, we do. Yeah, and fun uh, we'll, glun. yeah, fun glun. So if you don't know what that is, we'll, we'll figure it out. <clears throat> yeah, for those who listen, you know it's a fuck you niggas. Good luck, good luck you niggas. Good luck you niggas. Yes. In other words, we're going to listen to something, and uh, I'm going to see what if I like it. I think it's a quasi fun glun here. I think you're going to, dude. I yeah, think you're going to you, crack you, the fuck you've up. You've heard this before, so uh, this is actually a, a half fun glun. It's a it's a cruise control fun glun, but yeah. we'll get that to that in a bit. So let's talk about uh, first of all. I got a little story here. I guess I'll go into, and it just happened a couple minutes ago when I was walking back from the store, getting my lovely. This is my butt plug of the week. Square Mile Cider. If you haven't had a Square Mile, they are fantastic. 6.7% deliciousness cider. So they're not like, I'm having a cider. It's a 3% alcohol. I'm going to sit on the porch. No, 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 no. This is a cider, motherfucker. This is a beer cider. This is like, tastes great. Get you a nice little buzz. Pour down a six pack. You're feeling good. So here's my first drink of that. But anyway. Is, is it too? My thing, though, is sweet drinks, though. It's like, I can't drink that shit all it's night. It's not you know sweet, what I'm man. It's not no? that sweet, no. Huh. Okay. But it's a nice, a nice sipping. So we'll have, maybe we'll have to try it sometime. Uh, yeah, I'll have to give it a shot. Give man. it a shot. Maybe when I'm out fucking rocking the vertical horizon, I'm gonna shine her. Oh yeah, pretty much. You're gonna, 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 gonna be out here in another what two weeks? Two weeks. Yeah, it's doing the nothing sacred. Shake. Maybe we'll do a live show out there or something like that. Who fucking knows? Not a live That's show. It's gonna be interesting. Well, actually, right. we could. We we could do something live. Who knows? We could. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll get oh, some yeah. Facebook streaming going on. Who knows? Who fucking knows? Anyway, mm-hmm. so here's the story. So this is just an observation I had because I don't have too much either. I mean, I've got a bunch of the world is caving in stuff, but that's just all the same shit that we've been talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's, it's like kind of regurgitated. At some point, at some point, you're like, God damn it, though. someone was banned from Twitter for saying, you know, something about the Ghostbusters movie, and but they're not banning Muslims saying things about, like, killing fucking, you know, Americans, and <laughs> it's just like, so it's like, <laughs> yeah, it gets it's tiresome. Like, it's like, my uh, don't know kind of thing. It gets tiresome. You know? so, so we're done with that a little bit. Well, I'm sure there'll be something shocking soon enough with that area, but not this show. So anyway... I'm walking home from getting the cider, and I see I'm walking by the walking the sidewalk, and I see this lady is standing there, and she's sitting standing in the sidewalk, and she moves off the side of the road. She has a dog with her, and she moves really far up onto like a hill on the side of the sidewalk. And as I'm walking by, she goes, "Hey, I don't want my my dog's not friendly, so I don't want to get him too close." So I'm okay. walking by, and I'm like, "Okay, all right." So I'm like, "Wait a second. Why do you have a fucking dog at all?" That isn't kind of friendly in in the in the right circumstances. Like unless you have a fucking guard dog who's guarding a fucking prison, or something like or guard got a guard. For, if you first of all if you have a guard dog guarding your house, well maybe that's it. Maybe that's what it is. Ah, it's fucking bullshit, man. Maybe you know. But I I, I gotta give her props because hey, some people are dumb fucking no, no, dog no. owners. No, no, no. But dude. my problem is, would you have an unfriendly? Would you be like, dude, hey? Sorry, bro. We're, we're, fucking we're, son of a bitch. We're, hang, we're hanging on the side of the road here because my buddy Bart, he's a fucking asshole. And I don't want him to hang out with you. But I got this dog. Yes, you're good to me, aren't you? You're a friendly to me, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> well, that's, that's probably, dude, she probably does have yes. a mean ass fucking dog yeah. just for protection. Well, don't take it fucking out. It's like not this. a walking dog. You don't take that show. What do you take the dog out to? Fuck? If you have a mean dog and you're walking around a neighborhood, that dog's a danger to everyone else. And you, and you need other protection. Get a gun. Get a taser. Don't have a fucking dog. Well, hey, but it looks like she's got pretty good control of it, though. You know, uh, so it, no, that dog has barked at me. Before. It's like, and it was, it was, if, but no, that's, if you have pretty good control of your dog, you can walk by the dog, by someone on the sidewalk with your dog. If you have to move off the sidewalk so your dog doesn't attack someone, you don't have control of your dog, dude. Yeah. Come yeah. on, man. Oh, I had to leave the side of the road because my dog is unfriendly. Uh, then don't take your dog outside because your dog was, if your dog can attack somebody or will 
to try to do something, you have to hold it back while I'm on the sidewalk and you're on the sidewalk, you're the one who needs to put that dog away. That dog is a guard dog It dog guards your house, not your fucking body while you're walking around, unless you control it. If a dog is walking toward me and it walks by, it happens all the time in this city. Your dog walks by, you walk by, hey, doggy, how you doing? You know, I don't, I don't go to pet it, I don't do anything, you just like, hey, you know, just walk by. If you have yeah. to fucking leave the side, then you have a fucking bad dog. And why would you want a dog that's not friendly? That's, that seems like, it's like, well, you people know, because it's my dog and he loves me. And when I'm alone well, with him, he's my special a, a, dog. I don't know why he does this shit either, but he gets really nasty fucking dogs that, uh, matter, matter of fact, I remember he had this German Shepherd that was so mean, you couldn't, like, go in the same room with it and... They really had to be careful with it, and yeah, that that you're right. It's kind of a pain in the Stupid. ass. I mean, why, I can see if you you're, that? you know, maybe this woman's a single woman and she's living alone and whatever dumb it shit. Does, it you does, know. No, yeah. So no. you take your fucking dog out with you, who can attack people, and you have to walk off the side of the road to fucking make sure it doesn't attack someone. For <laughs> I just got to make sure my dog doesn't kill someone today. Let's go take a walk, Fido. <laughs> Sorry, and, and it just kind of makes me think about dogs as companions. Because I don't yeah. like dogs, man. I really just don't fucking uh, yeah, like Yeah, I'm not a big dogs, dog guy man. either. I think they're very needy and a kind of a pain and, and, in well, the ass. Well, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm they saying? can attack you, and they can fuck with you, and they bark at you, and they can scare the fuck out of you, and, and, and you know, like, you know, like, just because walking by a house, you know, I'm not a big, you know, not like I don't, like, there's certain dogs that are cool. There's exceptions to every rule. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, and but but overall, I just I just can't. I couldn't imagine having a dog myself, man. Just like well, and what's this, th dude? Everybody seems to be on the pit bull kick, man. People go buy these fucking pit bulls. They're, they're trying to prove that they're not evil dogs. Shit, dude. I just don't trust them. They're big and they're kind of. I'm like, fuck, dude. I, I don't want that son of a bitch to, you know, because they're known to be mean. Well, you know? it's not necessarily they're known to be mean, but they're u they're they're used in that way because they're big and they're tough. Yeah, it's yeah. you know it's like certain things that are, if you're big and you're tough they're gonna be used like you're like a tool you know, right? And, and this dog right. wasn't huge or anything, but so it was like it wasn't like it was a huge dog. It was a medium sized, smaller medium sized dog. But I just I go oh thanks and I'm like, why why would you have a dog that you have to keep away from other people? If and you then you go home it's like this is my dog. He loves me. So that's what I don't get about it because because I in a way dude. And I, I, I read something about this once. In a way, I think I said this before. Dogs are kind of slaves, man. Yeah, you keep I'm sure them, people you keep, use them for work-related things. Keep, you keep, no, not, not only that, but you keep them around. They, they adore you. Uh, you, they, they, you, have, you feed them. You keep them on leashes. You keep them in fucking cages. You keep them in a fucking yard. Uh, they, but they, they love you because you're more, so, much more, so much smarter than them, and they worship you because you feed them. But right. then you keep them around, and they, and they bark. And they and they fuck with people, but then you keep them around anyways, and it's like, like just because of having the oh, because it's, it's like unconditional pets love, general, man. Pet, pets in general are all about about ego in a lot of ways, man. I'm sorry to say. Well, you know what, and and that's why, yeah, like, oh, you need a companion. You know, after Ticket died, you know, even my mom was like, well, I think you should get another cat, and I'm just like, no, <laughs> you know, because I don't need a companion. I just happen to like Ticket. You know what it I mean? Hap it happened to fall into to, to your lap. It was almost like a roommate situation where you're like, yeah. oh, well, she happens to stay here with me. You know, it's not like, oh, I need a cat to replace. Because that's even worse. You need something to replace. What are you, is it a clone? Is this like a fucking Barbie doll? Do I need a new dolly? I need a companion. I need, I need someone I need, to I shits need, in I the fucking yard. Yeah, I need someone to shits in the yard and, and shits in my kitchen floor and my friends have to clean it up and shit and, uh... <laughs> Yeah, you know, yeah. shits all just, over the place. You're just, just, just not worth it for me, man. It's like, uh, you know, and, and like I said, I enjoyed having Ticket, but again, it's because I liked Ticket. I didn't. It wasn't like I needed something there. You know, everybody has well, this. I need to have something. Yeah, some people. I've thought about a cat, you know, and I. But then when I really think about a cat, I'm like, uh, <laughs> come on, I really think like, oh, the idea of having a cat, you know, hey, what's up, Buster? <laughs> Little pet, you're gonna walk on my shoulder. You're gonna purr. It's gonna be cute. Then I think yeah. about like the middle of the night when the fucking something crashes in the kitchen. And I'm like, oh shit, you know. Or, <laughs> or when I come home to a smell of dead cat in my house, it's fucking laying there with fucking just stretched out dead in my carpet. I'm like, ah, uh, no. Or you sit down and it's sitting on the, it's yeah, laying so on the fucking, couch you, and you sit on you it. You sit or on it and shit. fucking break its back and it's paralyzed for life, but you don't kill it because you love it and it's still got a good life. So it's laying there paralyzed. You got a feeding tube, the fucking thing. So it's like just yeah. like a bag of poop. You know, you feed it some fucking tube, and you take it over, and you shake it out over the fucking litter box. Actually, okay, that's <laughs> another thing, dude. What the fuck is the deal with people that ab adopt these special needs animals, man? Because, dude, they, <laughs> dude it's, it's because it makes you feel special. Jesusly? Jesusly. 
It's a Jesusly <laughs> thing, and people people do have love for animals, and I I do believe that there's 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 that animal abuse is fucking awful. Oh God! Because yeah. they are living beings, and they do have feelings, and they do have emotions. It's, it's obvious that dogs have emotion. There's no question about it. Cats have emotion. There's no there's no question about it. Oh, yeah. Then does that mean oh. that they're on the level of humans? In some ways, they are. If you look at it as a very biolog- in, in a biological level, but if you do that, then fucking ants are the same as humans, you know? <laughs> and roaches. I so, got a roach. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah. So, so the. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep these bed bugs. I need a companion. <laughs> Some companions. I got a whole shitload of companions. I got a lot. Look at them. I mean, people it's, living with me now. Yeah, it's, it's great. So, it's sort of like Facebook. <laughs> I just feed them with my blood. I don't have to buy anything. I don't feed them with social commentary. I feed them with my blood. Yes, yeah, the Facebook of fucking pets. It's fucking bed bugs. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, if you need a companion, just go get some bed bugs, man. Yeah, because what? Because because they, they, you know, how, you know when they leave, when the heat get, when it gets hot and hot and the heat come, heat rises, they yeah. bail on you, just like Facebook friends. <laughs> when the heat's too hot, they're yeah, out of there. They're right? out of there, dude. <laughs> Facebook is like bed bugs, man. <laughs> when it get when it gets too hey. hot, they're they're gone. They either die off or they leave. <laughs> Nobody just deletes their yeah. account, huh? No, exactly what it is. They delete. They die off. Fucking bat wow. bail, dude. Fuck that shit, man. He's got real life problems. Ah, uh, you know. Ah, uh, dude. Uh, Todd Dale, man. <laughs> so. So yeah. So I'm like, just fuck, fuck pets, fuck, and fuck the idea of having a pet because I, I and I think it relates to, to mm. something I just thought about this too while uh, we were talking. Oh, uh, okay. It's like it's like the people who it's like because people love to take care of shit, you know. That's loves them unconditionally, and it's it's like there for them, and they know that, that if they didn't have it, then there that then it would they would die off. It's like yeah. it's like those feet, those those chicks who want to have, and dudes I guess there are some dudes, but just want to have baby after fucking baby, like just pop oh. out fucking ch- kids like Pez from a fucking dispenser, you know, pop, pop, you know, like so, <laughs> because they you know they get to level they get to two, you know, like the baby's two, and it's like oh I can't, it's starting to get annoyed with me and it's starting to be itself. Oh, I'm gonna pop, pop out another one. Oh now it's a little gur- gurgling fucking food bank and fucking just. I'm not gonna just love it and pretend it's like loves me completely and until it gets to that point again and, and then it's like oh, get another one yep just pop that out and have another one and then you've got like eighteen kids and which kind of remindifies me of something else man okay my bro is dating somebody that's got four kids mm-hmm. and they're all teenagers and I'm thinking man I just dude I don't trust the situation man it's it almost like. It's almost like she's looking for it. I mean, I can't say for sure, but from what I feel, it looks like she's looking for a dad for the kids. And uh, I'm just like, man, dude, you don't have kids. Why would you want some shit like this? You know what I'm saying? Well, because maybe it's the best of both worlds. Maybe it's a, the teenager years, you know, you can be like, yeah, I'm a uh, man. You know, and... I don't know, dude. Sometimes teenagers are the worst. Oh, of course. They're, yeah, they're the worst. But maybe it's at this... Maybe they're old enough. What's the youngest? How old's the youngest? Youngest is 12. Uh. And she's a girl, and then the rest are boys, and they're, you know, ranging between, I think, 14 and 17 or something like God that. Damn, you know? so she was a Pez dispenser for a bit there. Yeah, she was a pop out. But, I mean, I'm surprised, dude, she even jumped her ass on a dating site. I mean, something like that. That's almost like saying, well, <laughs> I got erectile dysfunction, but... I want a date. No, nah, see, that's horrible, dude. Some people like that shit, dude. I don't and it know, has man. Been I, I Twelve just, years, me, man. If I see that, I run. <laughs> you know, of course you do because you don't like kids, man. You don't have anything to do with that. You're like, I'm like, Fuck nigga, that. no. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's funny though. Yeah, tw- man. Well, I mean, I don't mind a kid or two. You know, you know, I've dated women that have have had kids, you know, two kids or so, Mm -hmm. but uh, anything more, man, is is a little too excessive for me. I'm just like, now what do you expect? And speaking of, you know, because it's always, of course, the kids are part of the package, so that means you have to, you know, love them. You when they have the to come, kids. But, well, and I will say this too: it's a long distance situation. See, see, that's how much dudes will fuck. That's how desperate dudes are to fuck chicks. They will love other people to fuck this other bitch. They were like, pretend. Yeah, or, yeah, or like that's love. what it is. Pretend <laughs> love. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't hang out with these kids normally. No. Like if you know if the kid was your neighbor or those kids were your neighbor, you wouldn't be like, hey there, fucking Johnny, want to hang out? No, see, yeah. I don't. Know. I, I guess it depends on the people, but I just, I just could, can see a lot, a lot of dudes. I guarantee you, a lot of dudes are like, "All right, well, she'll fuck me." I guess if the kids are part of the package. Yeah, you know, the kids are part of the deal. Well, that's yeah, that's it. It's like, oh uh, fuck. Well, dude, because like I said it's a long distance sitch. You know, 
she lives in California and he lives here. And every weekend, dude, it's either he's out there or he's or she's down here. And I, dude, I think every time the kids come with her or something. So God, that you sounds know, fuck, awful. Dude. If I were a kid, I'd be like, dude, I just want to hang out at my house this weekend without somebody around. Yeah, just well, dragging your fucking family know, around with you. I don't you. know if that's always the case, but. I mean, fuck, dude, that's got to get expensive, like going out to eat and doing things. and yeah, I'm, sure, you know. I'm sure she's taking care of all of it. Oh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, right. She's probably make sure that my brother takes care of all of it. And, uh, <laughs> no, no, that wouldn't be happening. <laughs> so you're right. She is taking care yeah, of it. Happen, she has, man. This she is, has this a plan. Is, dude, this, is, this, is a, this is a modern, this is 2016, man. That shit doesn't happen any longer, dude. Women no, are independent, you're right. man. Beyonce, right. women, baby. Women are very independent, woman, um, man. independent and... Uh, independent. Yeah. A lot of them are. A lot of them are. Yeah. But, yeah. but you I know, guess. Actually, it's which reminds me of the fucking that. dating site thing, dude. Okay, go ahead, man. That, that I was looking. Well, I don't know why I even went on today. Oh, you know why? I got an email that told me some chick, you know, wanted to meet me, you know, because I still have my profiles up and things, but I haven't gone into them in, God, months, you know? Mm-hmm. So I was like, yeah, let me just check out this chick. I don't have shit to do. Let me just see what's up. So I go on there. I couldn't find her, but then I, I start, uh, what were you going to say? Nothing. Oh, sorry. That was my phone talking. Duh, it's in the other room. <laughs> what did you say? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, huh? <laughs> um, anyway, god damn it. I'm, oh, so I'm, I'm looking at all these other profiles, dude. And there was one particular one. Dude, I almost fucking wrote her just to be an asshole because her profile she was being a real well first of all she was like please read this whole profile so she's expecting that we read the whole goddamn profile and you know know everything about her which okay i I dig that but then later in her shit she says and just so you know i don't read every message and don't respond to every message so don't treat me like i'm a bitch or something like that (laughs) well then wait wait i love it i love the hypocrisy like right there it's like yeah yeah. Read this whole profile. I don't ex- but don't expect me to read, to read all your, your whole message because you know <laughs> narcissist narcissist. Well, you know, and and this is I, I get that a lot, dude. Like when I write chicks on on those sites, that's a, one of the reasons I stopped. You know, because a lot of them wouldn't write back mm-hmm. in a lot of cases, and the excuse was well, women get a lot of messages. Well, how about you read through them all? You don't have to read every single one. If they look bullshitty, just delete them. Yeah, women you know, get a lot of messages, but there's no good guys out there. But up, bump, but up, bump. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> like, okay, you won't even take time to read your messages, but then you want to sit and bitch about how shitty men are and, you know, how there's no, you know. And, dude, I got sick of seeing some of these women. You know, I wonder if dating sites, they're, they're not to meet people, but I think to make single people realize they ain't really missing shit. <laughs> oh no, they're there to meet people. They're, that's all the facade, man. It's all about the, the the idea, the excitement about it, you know. Oh, it's so simple. I type in this and I meet this person. We go on a date and it's there. It's magic. Nah, and, yeah, yeah, right. It happens sometimes, but it's not. It's rare because the people that are looking Shit. for that. Everybody I've met off those sites, man. Like I said, I I don't. I, I that was. <laughs> Those are people I care to forget. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of it is because it's it's an easy out. It's like uh, it's it's like anything else, man. You, it's like when people are like, "Oh, fuck it, I'll try that." You know, so it's almost like a get rich get, get rich quick scheme, but for dating. That's what pretty much what it is. Huh. that's interesting. Get twat quick. Yeah, because it's like, oh hey, you know, I just put my name in here. I put a profile. Like, oh yeah, I just put the best side of me out first, and we'll see what happens. And the chicks are like, oh my god, I can just put myself out. I can do this. I can weed out all the dickheads and. All the jerkos, because yeah. I'll just have this ideal that the guys who actually are jerkos will know what to write to make me think that they're that ideal, and I'll keep choosing the same ones every single time. Yeah, like, and I won't bother reading. If I don't like your picture, I won't even read your message. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, why don't you figure out what, you know, listen to what the person has to say first, and then if you don't like it, you know, and then they want to call you shallow. Because, <laughs> you know, like, oh, well, this guy was so shallow, he wouldn't even respond back to me fucking bitch yeah it's because you all of a sudden you were interested in him you know but he's not interested in you so he's well, shallow no, but yeah but you're, if when you're interested shit just, you know you know the old saying man if it's there you gotta get it you gotta take it yeah exactly hey it's pussy you know it's there you, know? you take oh, it oh and here was the other thing this bitch said this will set you off dude i already know and the other thing she said on there because you know they're and i don't know why they even have people put this shit but it asks do you have a car and she put no well 
Then in her thing, she says, I know. by the way, if you notice that I don't, it says that I don't have a car, I don't, and hopefully that won't be for long, but if you're not man enough to pick me up and take me home, then I'm not interested in dealing with you anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, okay, how about I say this? If you're not willing to suck my dick on the first date, then fuck you then, bitch. You know? Mm-hmm. So how about we start saying shit like that? Yep, it, I, I I think you should, dude. But it won't happen. It won't make a difference, dude. It's these people are fucking narcissists, man. God, man. And then, dude, I'm reading through some of the other profiles. Shit makes you tired, honestly, dude. I, that's I was like, no wonder I don't fucking come on here. And I'm gonna see another stuff where you know chicks were saying things like, uh, you know, I'm looking where I'm looking for something real, or you know, uh, <laughs> looking for something. Yeah, just looking for something real. It's all very can cliche bullshit. They all say, dude. And then, or I'm an outdoors person. Why? How come they're all outdoors people? You know, it's like, or I enjoy working out and going out. To, you know, well, so does everybody else. What the fuck's different about you? You fucking rice cake. <laughs> enjoy rice cake. The rice cakes are just boring, run of the mill, same bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just boring ass bitch. You know, there's like nothing to you, nothing that stands out. You know, it's like, eh. You're all boring. I'm reading through your yeah, shit. I like yoga. Yeah. I like listening to music, going to concerts, walks on the beach, and camping and hiking. Uh-huh. I think those are probably whore bots, man. It sounds like it's so, it's so cliche, but unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're just, well, I don't know what they are. I think some are real, but they just think that's what, those are like the buzz, buzzwords, you know, supposedly. Uh, they get guys, you know. Like a guy wants a woman who's active and, or whatever. I don't know. If, I don't fucking know. I don't know. So they, yeah. <laughs> like, why don't some just tell the truth? I'm a fat bitch. I like to sit on the couch and eat fucking pie all day, you know, and watch reruns of... Uh, Dukes of Hazard. Dukes of, yeah, I almost said different strokes. <laughs> different <laughs> strokes? Yeah, either one. Both, man. There are Dukes of Hazard and different strokes. Different strokes oh, marathon. It's called, the, it's called the Southern Northern. It's called, the, it's called the Civil War Marathon. Oh, there's the Civil War of TV. Civil War Marathon, dude. Yeah. The Civil War Marathon. Different strokes in Dukes of Hazard. Dukes of Hazard. Actually, well, you got the Dukes of Hazard and the Spooks of Hazard. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Or different so strokes go. or different spokes. And for different folks. <laughs> so, different strokes but, or, uh, or... Yeah, that shit, dude. Different just, strokes or fucking there, your folks. It was like, okay, I, I, it just made me realize that I'm not missing much, so I don't feel bad. And I'm like, eh, these, these aren't anybody I would talk to, you know? Yeah, well, you keep realizing that, man, every week, dude. Uh, every week, every year, every fucking <laughs> it's, like, hey. it's like when you remind yourself, like, I realize that. And you're like, yeah, you did, you did the same thing like two months ago when you went back there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like it's you gotta true. remind yourself the fog of society like clouds the fact that you fucking thought this like 18 yeah, times in the last six it. months oh, I don't think but it, you know it's not like I'm sitting around thinking about it like gee I wish I had someone in my life no. and you know it's a constant thought it's like, no, it's something like I have you're like oh, I'm gonna get myself. on the dating site just to see what's going on just because I'm in the mood to say that. oh god oh god what a fucking Jesus <laughs> Right. That's oh, kind of what it was no. like I said I got this email that said some chick wanted was interested in meeting me and I just out of curiosity, I was like, I wonder who this is. So I, I looked or was going to look and I couldn't you couldn't search by username anyway anymore. They used to be able to do that. Now you can't I'd probably because they know because you have to upgrade to see who the fuck it is anyway. Mm-hmm. So I, I used to, you know, my way around it was I would search by username and go, oh, I'll just put the bitch's name in and then see who, who pops up. So I think they got hip to that. And they're like, oh, well, we're going to take that out now because we want people to upgrade. And sadly enough, there's some lame fuckers that will upgrade and pay extra money on a free site <laughs> to, you know, yep. to, to get whatever stupid ass features they can have. Or, oh, yeah. Like, oh, well, I, can, I can change my name to Daddy McDickleton. Oh, yeah. Oh, that'll oh, be can, the I shit. I can put a custom picture of on there. Yeah, sweet. Well, when they upgrade, you know, it's like they, they pay a certain amount and they get to see who wants to meet them and all this other just stupid shit I wouldn't pay for, man. <laughs> yeah, but it, but it gets you get you closer to your goal, man. The holy grail of life. Yeah, because you know life is nothing if you don't have anyone. 
You know, much. our lives are nothing here, Cruise Control. Nothing, man. You know, we just, our lives just suck. I mean, we are so... Everything sucks, man. Are we sad Everything in our lives sucks. Can, can you hear the, the, the depression in our voices, It's man? terrible, man. I'm, I've been thinking about it lately, man. Uh, I've been standing on the ledge, man. Yeah? yeah I wish dude. you would step back from that ledge, my friend. Wow. But cut <laughs> ties the, with all the, the Take the shotgun and, and chew right on the end. Ah. Oh. It's better to blow your head off than fall off a building and hurt someone when you land. Yeah, because land. you can, you can land off a living person. And hurt someone when you land. <laughs> and... <laughs> Seriously, it is actually a better way. So public service, if you're going to kill yourself, blow your blow your brains out instead of jumping off a building just because uh, yeah. it would, could, you could hurt someone on the way down. But then again, make sure you look behind you before you blow your brains out. Because well, be careful anyone... where you blow your brains out, too, because if you do it in an apartment building... You know, the bullet could go through you, through the next wall, into the neighbor's apartment. Yeah. And you wouldn't want to hurt the neighbor. So, you know, maybe go Unless out. Unless the like, neighbor's a desert. real prick and is the reason why you're killing yourself. Then you want to aim the gun correctly so that it go does go through your head and then through the wall and then through their head. But that'd be really a possible problem. You got to be a pretty good marksman for that, yeah, though, man. Pretty much. You got to be pretty awesome in in that department. And, uh,. And that's you, why. And that's the only problem, of course, is that you, to practice aiming that way, you have to kill yourself each time. <laughs> yeah. So you so really can't practice. You really can't practice doing it because the first time you practice is the last time you practice. Just like, Unless you're it. really unlucky, but then you probably won't be able to practice again. And if you do, then it's a miracle. That, so you probably should put the gun down and just live your life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, unless you want to go out to a desert area and do it where no one's around. That's you know, true. That's pretty could, safe, I guess. Yes, you could do that. But then again, what if you kill an eagle and that eagle is carrying a message from the president to oh, a little girl shit. in fucking... <laughs> You're right, man. Chupacqua. Or, yeah, or, or even a vulture that's, like, eating another dead person who just shot themselves. Yeah, and then, you know, and that, then that, kill vulture... that vulture so that person's going to stay around and stink longer. Yeah, and so... that'll cause a fly infestation, which has a virus that's carried to the nearest city that wipes out 35,000 people in that city and causes a worldwide epidemic that uh, dis destroys the 97% of the population. Damn. Yeah, and you're right, yeah, dude. Fuck. Cause, yeah, 97% of the population and causes an old black woman to come out. Uh, never mind. So, so what's our what's our what's our uh, public service message basically? That suicide can affect others, not just you. That's true. That's exactly right. <laughs> so we kept it. God damn right. Message. There Don't is a kill that's our positive message now. So let's <laughs> speaking of positive messages, I'm pretty much ready for the. Uh, let's just want to get. Are we, I think we're pretty much <laughs> done for the show. For the fun glun. Yeah, let's do our fun glun here. So I what is? Go ahead and introduce this. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna this play is it. Malice, and okay. uh, we're we're gonna have him on at some point. Um, but, uh, I was talking to him. I said, well, well cause he asked me, he's like, are you going to play this on your show? And I said, well, yeah, when you come on and he's like, well, actually I, when I come on, I prefer to just play songs that are going to be on my album. So apparently this, this didn't make the cut and, uh, I don't know why. What's it called? It's called my homeboys got cancer. My homeboys got cancer. Maybe he, maybe he's, he's regretting, maybe he's editing out his album after he, he does it live. Oh yeah. Maybe, maybe something yes. like my, my homeboys got cancer. Malice, I am almost positive already that this is going to be a good luck, you nigga. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, we're going to have to see <laughs> how this goes. So right now, this is the fun glen for the evening, and this yes. is Malice. My homeboys got cancer. All right, here we go. Hold on. Hold on a second. Friends with my homeboy cause he's the one no more. I was friends with my homeboy cause he's the one no more because he got cancer in his mind. Now all he do is bitch moan and fuss. Get up, check. There we go. My homeboy got cancer. I was friends with my homeboy cause he's the one no more because he got cancer in his mind. All he do is lay around like a fucking bomb. Check it. Yo, my homeboy got cancer. Yo, my homeboy got cancer. That's what they say. I don't believe him though. I'ma go and see him today. He stayed right across the way. It caused the way they specialize in hospitalizing liars there. No one's seen him in a month or two. Yeah, he's sick, but it ain't cancer. It's probably just a stomach flu. And that will not kill you. Wait, let's believe everything these positive tests and doctors tell you. You got six different opinions, dog. Shit, it's possible six hospitals was wrong. It's chicken mom. 162. <laughs> This must be the room. Watch up and slam the door. Scared the fucking shit up out of you. Hey, time to wake up, lazy, but I'm here. Rise and shine. Lift these blinds. Let's get the light in here. Calm down. I think you had a nightmare. It's just me. Easy looking, Mr. Clean. Nice there. I think your barber left the car. 
samples and lotion. <laughs> that's yeah. I love that man. I that mean, that's that's okay. Uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're a sick fucker like me, no, I, it's, I, I, it's good. I no, I, I like it. I like it too. But but here's the thing. I know why he's not putting it on the album because it's it's first of all six minutes long. Right. It's just long as fuck, and I think it's probably not as slick or as it's, it's cheesy and cool and fun. But yeah. I can see why he's de- why why he, that would if his if it's if other stuff's better than that. Like uh, then, then I could see why he why he would put more tightly constructed shit on the album. Now that's not that's definitely a song to play, right? And depending more, on what the rest of the album is like, a, just a having fun, having type fun song. kind of song. You know, it was like really long. It's like I mean, you know, it was kind of like pretty pretty long, and it was good. But definitely, definitely a, a good luck, you nigga, because just some of the lines. Yeah, I got to give it a good luck, you niggas, on that one. <laughs> oh, absolutely, no question, not a question about that. But it's, I'd say a B. Ah, well, a B, hey, that's good. A B okay. for yeah, a B for that. But I can I can understand. Obviously, I can see that if he's focused and tighter, uh, and I guarantee you he is on some other shit. That this other shit that he is on. Right. In fact, it makes me want to listen to it. So I'm gonna have to look hey. him up on. Is he on um, Spotify? Actually, uh, yes, he is. He's All on right. Spotify. I will check on Spotify for Malice. Look for Malice. Yeah. Um, and also you can go to his YouTube. It's uh, Malice Seven O Seven. Now is he is he just is it he all humorous or is there other shit other other than humorous? You know, he's or? got some serious songs too. Actually, there's I one. He, I figured um, he did off his redo album. And I bet it's fucking tight as shit and just like wow, yeah. Actually, yeah, it's uh, it's called Dear John. It's actually to his brother that died, and uh, he's rapping over that journey. Um, you know, um, goddamn, uh, what's that song, dude? Don't stop believing. Uh, no, not the, not not that one. Um, Highway One. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, forever yours. That's what yeah, it's called. Forever yours. Forever yeah. yours. Yeah, he's rapping well, over yeah. that. So, so we'll have to watch because I I get his lyrics. Obviously, is lyrical. There's no question about it. Oh yeah. Got like a right. kind of an Eminem feel to him a little bit. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like you were talking about, but also a little bit of his own. Um, a bit there. Um, a little own flavor. Probably yeah. a bit less like, yo, yeah, I'm fucking hard and, you know. Or like, life is hard for me because I'm a, such a superstar. Yeah, and, none of that bullshit. So, um, so yeah, I'll definitely check him out. Definitely a glun. No, not a, uh, not a fun, but a glun. And That's a glun, glun is better than fun in this situation. <laughs> um, but, yeah, yes. so definitely a glun. And so we'll put the link to that, as, he, as you said, the, the uh, it's Malice701 at YouTube. Yeah, uh, no, it's YouTube.com slash Malice707. Yes, 707. And we might be down the pipe been a pipe or pipe whatever the fuck you want to call it getting him on hopefully soon to uh to talk chat with us as, yeah, a, as an yeah. ns interview he and warned me about playing good. that though he's like man be careful of the backlash man he's like you know pretty much everybody knows someone who's died of cancer yeah like, i do my dad so <laughs> i'm so sad exactly. i'm so fucking well, sad he well, made a know, song he, I mean, made a you know, you, you he made a make-believe he made a make-believe oh, you know, that's why i'm know? never gonna watch a movie again in fact i watched brain candy by the the kids in the hall with cancer boy and I, I shit on the TV. I'm so mad. <laughs> just fucking pull, pull, pull by my pants. That's a new way. And just fucking shit diarrhea on, on my own TV. Of course, it was my own TV, so I had to wipe it off. But it felt good while it nah, happened. Speaking of shitting, dude, I've had the shits today. I went and, uh, you know, I, I told you I took um, I had to take off work today this mm-hmm. afternoon because uh, we have an event this weekend. And I had lunch with my mom. And I had something. We went and uh, had I had this thing called carne diablo. It was some real <laughs> oh, boy. It was a spicy steak, dude. God damn. And I don't remember it being this spicy, but fuck, dude. It made my nose run, and, you know, I was, like, coughing up loogies and shit. And uh, then now, dude, I've been taking these hot, raging, you know, like, oh, burning those are awful, dude. shits, dude. I'm sure they're marking up the porcelain. Dude, those are flaming hot, flaming hot burrito from Taco Bell shits. I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they have several chapters to them. It's yeah. not like you go take that one shit, and then, ah, oh, it's out. Cause, uh, no, because you know, I can feel another chap, one brewing then, pretty then, soon. Then it chaps your asshole too. And you're like, and your asshole hurts. Oh, dude, your asshole. Yeah, your and asshole afterwards, pays dearly. Like afterwards, it's like, yeah, it's like a, like a, yeah, like a raging. Like you got Diablo back at you, man. The devil came back to do- Georgia, dude. Oh, devil came right my asshole. He was looking to burn my coal, <laughs> or something. But, burn my uh, coal. Speaking of burning coals and taking shits, I think we're shit out of out of material for the night. <laughs> yeah, we're shit out of nothing sacred. <laughs> Pretty much, you know, because that's what we do, though. We are nothing sacred, and that's uh, right, bitches. and we're I am I'm cruise controlling. By the way, folks, 
Uh, we're going to be getting out back to support sometime soon. Um, cool. we, we're going to have that uh, interview up. We don't know, but maybe we'll get the other interview up with uh, with ADR. So at some point, we'll see. Who knows? But regardless, we'll be back at you sometime soon. No uh, and uh, yeah, well, actually, we'll get it. We got a uh, interview coming up this week, I believe. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, we got psychosomatic. Psychosomatic. Yeah. So you'll be getting that early next week. Um, so keep in touch with that, and keep in touch with us, and keep in touch with Cruise Control. And I'm Maxwell Silverhammer. And that's the that's story, the story there, there, bitches. bitches. Nothing sacred. Seven twenty-one sixteen. Later, motherfuckers. Eat a dick. Get cancer, but don't get cancer. And if you do get cancer, then. Kill yourself and kill your neighbor. Through your cancer out of you. Yeah, you can go to a desert, shoot a buzzard, and shoot a vulture eating another cancer ridden victim, and maybe just fucking live and post a childhood.